Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson on the NAB floor, again at the Aperture booth. You guys just have so much cool stuff. We do. We're here with Ted again. Uh, we're going to look at something that a lot of people have been talking about, and that is the DEC. What yes. is the DEC, and why is this thing so great? So the DEC stands for Driving EOS Lenses for Cinema, so DEC. And what it is, it's an adapter format. So you know what an adapter does, let's say you use your EF lenses for a Micro Four Thirds or E-mount camera. But this is not just an adapter. So right here you've got a display too that'll tell you what lens you're using and your focal distance. So using these two here, I can not only use the lens period, but I can also pull focus. So this is the VS5 monitor too, which we have not released yet. But I'm pulling focus currently. One second, oh, I just turned this off. Well, while you're doing that, I mean, what's amazing yeah. is, you have there we go. You have a, a Sony A7S here. Yes. Uh, with the obviously Sony E mount, yep. and then you have your adapter for E mount uh, going to EF. You have a Canon EF lens on here, and you are able to using that adapter control the focus motors and control or and the iris. Yes. So of I'm this controlling camera. the iris right now, just spinning this wheel. I can control the iris seamlessly, and then just pulling this. I can change my focus. So I've set an A point here and a B point here. Bang, bang. That's Completely so wirelessly, cool. 100 meters away. There's no gears. One of the problems that we see that people have is, uh, you know, you've got like a steady cam rig or you have like a wireless follow focus and you've got this yeah. big, lunky gear head that you got to pull off, change the lens, put it back on. Here it's a very elegant design in that you just take off your lens like you normally would, put on a new lens, and you can keep going just like that. So right now you have Two, two mounts for it, correct? You have a, a, a Micro Four Thirds yes. and an E mount. Yes, we do. Um, and uh, what, uh, currently they go to EF lenses, correct? Yes, they do. Uh, yeah. And do you guys plan on, on working and bringing out a lot more it's for possible, other lines? It's possible, possible. But right now, this is the main one that we're looking at. It's EF lenses just to these two. And I know that a lot of people, their go to, uh, my go to even, is yeah. EF lenses. Yeah, I, I have people, a ton of EF. They started with their EF lenses, you know, they bought their Mark II, they bought their Mark III, and then all of a sudden, whoa, the Panasonic GH4, the A7S. So it'll let you use those. Yeah, and most people are going to be buying adapters for those anyway. Yeah. Now you can get this adapter, and you also have that functionality of being able to control everything from exactly. wherever you want. It's a completely smooth wireless follow focus system. I know some people are worried about the motor, but I mean, you can literally just test it here. We went to a rental house, we rented out all of their lenses, tested the meats with code, and if we have, we have a guarantee too in that if you have a lens that you're not sure if it'll work with, get it. If there's something a little buggy, give us one week. It's just a matter for us of adding a little bit of code, and we can just do it in firmware. one. That's so cool. That's awesome. I mean, it's such a great idea. You think of like, why did no one think of it before? Just tapping into the motors that are already built well, you gotta, in it takes to those a lot lenses. Of time. You got to study the protocol, you know. And our team but it's, is. It's, it's always very, those great ideas that, that everybody knocks themselves and, and is like, why didn't I think of that? And I yeah. think I think you guys have got one right here with that. That's thank so you. Awesome. I appreciate it. Um, pricing is what's important about this. Yeah, too. So I we know hear that. a normal. Adapter, just a straight adapter, will normally cost you about four fifty, five hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, we've had this priced currently at three hundred eighty nine. Oh my god. So it's underneath a standard adapter. It's underneath a standard just aperture adjuster, and it lets you do all this and so much more. And it's it's. And you just gotta feel it too. There's like a build quality yeah, aspect to it Yeah. I mean, it it's too. solid. The fact that it's wireless, that you can clamp this onto whatever you want. Um, any rig, I mean, that's really cool. And the fact that it has a digital readout, so you know, you all your information, you know, all your information there. Um, uh, that's uh, it's awesome, man. It's really cool. Uh, it makes me want to, uh, you know, pick up uh, an E-mount camera just so I can use it and strap my EF lenses thing. on. I'm thinking about buying an A7S just because this. Exactly, of this, you know? it would be, it would pair perfectly with an yeah, A7S. Yeah, and you're a one-man crew. You need to pull your own focus and do this. Like, are you kidding me? Of course. It's so good, so Absolutely. easy. Very cool, man. All right. Well, there's some uh, some awesome new gear coming out from Aperture again. Uh, be sure to check them out and uh, keep subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys later with more NAV 2015. Thanks.